Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Lars Hydronic Boiler. Thank you to everyone tuning in Jumperman Tech. Today we have a service call for a Lars Hydronic Boiler. That's definitely falling apart over there. And if you guys watched my previous videos, you know this place has been a nightmare, but we have not been here in a while. We actually got two boilers down. One shows the error code. This one doesn't even have any lights on it. And what do we have here? I told them about this a while ago. I saw a little drip. <laughs> Ain't a little drip no more. Ugh. All right, one step at a time. All right, we got this one down. You look inside. One, two, three, four. Four flashes on the ignition control. So on the ignition control, we had four flashes. And if we look here, it shows the diagnostic status codes. For four flashes, it says igniter failure, check amp draw. The AM draw is low, it's going to go into alarm because we're not going to properly ignite. I personally know this wire here leads down into here and connects to our igniter. So I'm going to set my meter to amps. I turn the switch off. Yeah, let's turn that switch back on. Yep. We're going to watch this thing start. Uh, from my experience, I believe this has got to go about somewhere around 4 amps. Here's the circulator pump. I just heard it flick on. A steady light. Under ignition control. Let it go through its checks. This does have a fan on it. So, let's give it a chance. Let's see what happens. Plugged in, trying. It was trying to go. It was trying to start. Just shut down. Okay, something clicked. Motor started. Let's see what kind of amps we pulled. 0.13. That's nothing. 0.16. What is that? Just based on the colors, I believe it's, is it these two? Based on the color, those two light grays. Yeah, that's it. Put on my meter on resistance, power's currently off. We do have 90 ohms. Okay, no sound as reference. I wanna make sure that we got, you know, voltage being sent that's something you want to confirm. If you're not getting the voltage, there's a good chance this control is bad, the uh, igniter. Excuse me, the ignition control. Just to confirm, I got 92.3 ohms, and that is 
get the wires disconnected and I'm just holding these two wires together. So those are the wires there. I'm gonna wanna close this up and check for voltage before I make any assumptions here. Okay, so as far as this, uh, I'd love to find a diagram, but it looks like the top and bottom wire feeds the igniter. I gotta cut through a bunch of, you know, tie wraps and stuff to really see it. So got the two gray wires here between S1 and S2, but then L1 and L2, it looks like there's, there's a power supply there. You should always have 120, and then between S1 and S2, we should feed power to the igniter. That's what I believe. All right, so for what I'm thinking is L1, L2 is just power to be there. Probably some relays that are going on here. And then when you need the igniter, S1 and S2 get 120 volts. So right now I got it between the outside two. That would, that would be S1 and S2. There's 93, 94 ohms. Oh, this got a little loose. Right, 92 ohms. And that matched up with what I had here. So without cutting those millions of wires, have it on continuity right now. It reads continuity and ohms. So right now I don't have continuity, but I have ohms. It's hard, you're not gonna see it. Let's see. If I push, touch these wires together, I should have, look, when I'm gonna touch them, we got continuity. I'm gonna let go, I'm gonna touch them again. So those are the wires that I'm looking for, pulling them apart. So L1 and L2 should have 120 volts or whatever voltage is using. And then we should be sending 120 volts through S1 and S2 to this igniter. We might not be getting that voltage. That's why we're not really getting any amps. So you can't just rule out the igniter just yet. All right, turn the power on. All right, we're gonna turn the power on. So we have 120 between L1 and L2. And let's check between S1 and S2. Nothing, let's wait for the blower motor to start. We need the air pressure switch to close, then that's gonna send power, you know, to the igniter once it goes through all the checks. But if it's getting that error code, it must be going through all the cycles. Let's see. Motor's about to start, I believe. I heard a click. Motor started. I'm not getting any voltage. Oh, something tried to go for a sec, but then it... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting voltage. But it's trying, you know, the fan started and all that stuff. No amp draw, because we got no voltage going towards it. All right, and we went off on the four flash codes. Here's another unit. Kind of, the control fell off. Look, but look. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four flashes, got the same thing. I'm kind of curious to see what this does. All right, let's see what happens with this one. Fan just started. The pump sounds horrible. This control literally just fell off. Well, at least it's time we get some sort of amps. That'll just be low. At least we'll know we're getting voltage.
thousand years later. As far as resistance on this one, I mean, I'm not getting nothing. There's nothing going on here. Funny enough, on this one, I'm getting 21 volts. Oh, we're we'll getting 120. And this one's not pulling amps. Yeah, so that's one and that's two, that's that igniter. This one's getting 120, but it's not. Okay, so it's not uh, pulling any amps, so this igniter is probably actually bad. This one, definitely, that little mark right there is definitely suspicious. Yeah. All this coloration, all that kind of stuff, that just goes to show you. Not getting even getting any resistance through this. This one's done. So, so far... This ignition control seems to be doing its thing, but we got a bad igniter. Got the same four flashes. The other one, the igniter actually seems okay, but we're not getting that 120 volts going to it. So, interesting. Same code, different problem. got back up and running this pump is nice and clean i changed this one a little while ago i do have a video on that but yeah temperature's coming up that's a beautiful thing right there so for the other unit since we took that the ignition control out we gotta change the ignition control with the igniter and we should be okay because the rest of the machine was you know it was trying to start he, he sent voltage there went through all the checks it just didn't start so hey listen at least for this video we got a two for one deal it's nice to see uh the same error code with uh different issues definitely a good video there yes sir nice and bright staying on pump is running Tap's coming up all right that was that for this one it's nice when you have identical units but we gotta see what, what if we can get the parts for the next one once you go pick up some parts i got an oem bars hot surface igniter for this unit where i took out the ignition module definitely see that discoloration in that one and the crack this one nice and fresh so i'm gonna plug that in for now but unfortunately as far as the new ignition module that's gonna be ready for tomorrow morning so tomorrow morning that's gonna be replaced and this one should be back up and running and the other one where we started with is currently operating it's been running for over an hour now so we're just gonna secure the new module on there and wrap it up for that this is the one we started with everything's been running we just gotta mount that control all right guys everything is now mounted let's go ahead and pretty much just close all these covers up all right we got a flame all the covers are back on there should be another cover here but all that's missing it is what it is <laughs> it ain't what it ain't they're actually getting rid of all these boilers 
and it looks like they're gonna go with uh, electric boilers getting rid of gas equipment out here in the city we're out here in New York City but yeah so as far as this one we had a bad ignition control pulled it off the other one put it in here everything's working the other one I quickly checked it the ignition control was sending 120 volts but we weren't pulling amps and we had a bad hot surface igniter that one at the moment has a new hot surface igniter and we're just gonna wait to get the part that's gonna be for tomorrow once that goes down they're gonna be back up and running this whole thing well that's a whole nother problem <laughs> We're gonna wrap this video up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week i'll catch you all next time